Okay, here it is. We're on the 2304 Gettys plant. As you can see, the main vine's clear over there. We're getting rid of our weeds. The grows, we're getting rid of them. Those will be gone here in a little bit. The two vines that I had coming behind the pumpkin are all filled in. They're terminated. Got another one terminated there. We got this one right here and this one right here that are going to be terminated soon. So we're day 20. It's Wednesday, first part of the week. And we have finally had our first four inches last night. So there she is. She's getting a little bit of starting to show her shape. Looks orange to me. So not bad, not bad. Definitely slow, but I don't know. She seems like she's just ramping up on day 20. Day 17 or day 18. That's normally when I get my first six or eight inches of growth. This is my first four inches today. So not complaining. She's great shape, real shiny. Probably is going to be a real honey here. I'll take you way over there and go look at the Marenser on day nine, I believe. Okay, here we are got a backup right there since this one here is our backup I got a backup to the backup uh, I really am liking this one here so I'm probably gonna be cutting that girl off here soon as you can see the main vines out over here this would be 30 feet if it was growing straight I have two kinks in the vine so I'm guessing that this is probably somewhere around the 35 foot range same with that Getty's plant back there Right now you can't even tell, it's just seas of green. Um, this plant here, so this was a spot, you guys see it filled in now. I got that growing, you can see that right there is the vine. I believe that's the one coming, I uh, know, there, there it is. There's the, the vine that's coming off of the pumpkin. So you can see it right in there. That one there, we're gonna try to let grow. I don't know, I might even let that one just grow until it terminates itself that's generally what happens so I'm gonna I might just see how what the pumpkin does see how long it takes for that sink to terminate that vine because I like the growth of that so you can see these here growing nice I got all of these redirected nice now you can see how they popped up like I said before they were on the ground oh, now they're sticking straight up they took over pretty quickly so over here I'm redirecting this vine and I'm redirecting this vine to come right here and fill in the backside just like I did on the Gettys plant. Uh, and here we go. We'll give you a little look at the Marenser. 1990 Marenser, day nine still. Like I said, this one isn't as slow as the other one, but it's got a lot better shape. Nice stem on it. So we're going with that girl. Day nine, tomorrow's day 10, we'll let it just do its thing. Plants this green should produce big pumpkins, right? I don't know, we'll find out. There it is, that's a look of her today. We'll see what she looks like in a few days. Catch you then. Okay, we're back again. You can see this is the edge of the greenhouse. We got another backup right here on the 1990 Marenser. Gonna be opened up tomorrow. We're gonna have to pollinate it because unfortunately, She aborted. So how can we tell? Well, hasn't grown much in the last few days. Actually, hasn't grown in the last few days. Hasn't grown much since we set up our mat here. And now, she's softer. You can feel, if I push on it, it actually makes a little mark, you can tell. She's done, soft end. So, she aborted. Luckily, we got another one here that we pollinated about four days ago. Another nice four lober, same cross. 1990 Marenza times the Gettys. So there it is, looking good. Oops, sorry, it's hard to see. There we go. Doing good, she's growing fast. So I'm gonna spare you all the stuff, but basically we're gonna move all that here. We're gonna be right on the edge of the greenhouse. I would guess it to be what there's maybe four feet, five feet from the edge of the greenhouse. So it's probably a good, it's probably upper 20s, 30 feet out. I mean, you're 
straight down here that bow this bow it could be at 30 feet and if you can tell it's very hard to tell but that's where the pumpkin did sit here just a few days ago <laughs> look how the leaves just took over completely filled in that spot right here you got all the edges it's it's just about done just a little area here to fill in a little area here to fill in so basically by the time this pumpkin turns i think that's four days old 11 days old it will probably have the entire area filled in it will be completely terminated and in fact you can see right back let me see if i can get it in the screen that's eh, probably hard to see but right there we got some vine tips popping up, which means I got a lot of treacheries growing. And back in the Gettys plant, there's three of treacheries over there, another one over there. So the treacherary growth is starting. That's the third stage growth. I don't like third stage growth. I cut it all off. So I have to go around and start doing that. I mean, it's a bummer that this one didn't take because that was the ideal location. I'm still okay with this location. If I have to go out here where you're 30 plus feet, I mean, Travis Ginger is doing it. So if he can do it, I can do it, right? Uh, hopefully I don't have to. Hopefully this one takes. So I'm gonna spare you all the setup. I'll show you once I get it set up. But I mean, you can tell the plant is amazing. And the root system on this thing is unbelievable. So we get going. Okay, here we go. Main vines out here. The baby's right there. Third time's a charm, right? Build in the spot back here. Like I said, that one's done. Plan well, looks great, so we're rolling with it, baby. Third time's a charm. It's a long ways out with a ton of plant. I expect that sucker to grow fast. How fast and too fast? Maybe. We'll find out. It's going to be fun. For your Saturday. I know it's not Sunday. Generally, I do it on Sunday. Father's Day tomorrow. So, I'm going to get the video out a day early. End of the week, Saturday. Time to go look at the Gettys plant. So, here we are. I think it is on day 24 today. There she is. She's orange. Got a little bit of an odd shape going to it, but... I don't care. I want it growing. Plant, once again, great. Good looking plant. The 100 and some degree heat. These next two days still. Last three, four days have been 105, I think. So I'm very happy with how the plant looks at the moment. We'll find out. I cleared away the, there were some treacheries right there. We cleared them out. So. So where are we at? Well, I just measured it in a circumference today. It was 54 inches. So I measured it earlier this morning. It was 53 and a half. Yesterday it was 47 inches. So overnight it grew four and a half inches, I believe. Maybe five inches overnight, something like that. So. And this is on day 24. Not a very good circumference for a day 24 pumpkin, but to be putting on five inches a day on day 24 is really good. So I don't know, take the good with the bad. We'll find out. And uh, if you made it this long in the video, we might do an extra video. Maybe a fun guess the weight. I don't know, I'll have to figure out if the kids want to do something. So stay tuned for that. That's a possibility. So there you go. Hopefully you guys are going. I know there's a lot of pumpkins out there that are getting going. So good luck, everybody. The fun has begun.